You certainly can't criticize them for not spending money because this is the largest average annual value they have ever given out at $27.5 million per year. Over four years, comes out to $110 million in total. It's a big sum, but it's a big player. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. According to sources, the New York Mets and Yoetta Cespedes have agreed to a $110 million contract, keeping the slugger in New York for another four years. The deal includes a full no-trade clause for the outfielder, who originally came to the Mets in a blockbuster deal in July of 2015. This is the guy they targeted from day one of the offseason. The Mets went after him uh, far more aggressively than they did a year ago. Here we are back again. The Mets have their best power hitter, their best slugger, their most consistent slugger back in the middle of their lineup. The world champion Cubs have announced a one-year deal with outfielder John Jay on Tuesday. The 31-year-old veteran was limited to just 90 games last season playing with the Padres, but the seven-year veteran is a career 287 hitter. A good solid transition move to add some depth go alongside Albert Almora as he heads into his rookie season. He will be very familiar at Wrigley Field, you know, but beyond that, he showed a lot of strides as a hitter last year. After spending the last three seasons in Korea, Eric Thames is returning to the major leagues. The Brewers have announced a three-year, $16 million pact with the 30-year-old slugger, who tops 37 home runs in three straight seasons. Milwaukee also designated Chris Carter, leaving Thames as the starting first baseman for 2017. Last year, two years, three years ago, I had no idea, um, you know, what the future had in store for me. And, you know, I'm very fortunate for, for David here and the Brewers organization to, uh, to look at me with hope and believe in me and believe in my talent set. Rick Porcello and Anthony Rendon were named recipients of the American League and National League Comeback Player of the Year awards. Redon helped lead the Nationals to a division championship by driving in a career-high 85 runs, while Porcello was named the AL Cy Young winner after leading the Red Sox to a division championship with a mark of 22-4 and and a 3.15 ERA. For more on these stories and for complete coverage of the hot stove season, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.